the emoluments provisions of the Constitution are our country's original anti-corruption legislation. There is a foreign and domestic emoluments clause. The foreign clause says that the no federal official may receive gifts or emoluments of any kind from a foreign state. And the domestic emoluments clause says that the president receives his salary, which can't be increased or decreased uh, during his term of office, and he may not receive any other emolument from the United States or any individual state. And as you know, the president gets a salary of 400,000 bucks, which is about seven times what the average American family has in income, mm -hmm. has an expense account of about 200,000 bucks, and Air Force One, and the White House, free meals, free travel, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't need any additional income if you're president of the United States. Um, and we contend in our suit that President Trump has violated both clauses and does so on a regular basis. Uh, he owns properties in New York that he rents and sells to foreign governments. He receives payments on a regular basis from those governments, and I'm talking about Afghanistan, India, China, uh, Qatar, and um, he has a lease in Washington, D.C. of the old post office, which is now the post office hotel. The lease by its own terms says that no federal official may own an interest in the lease. The person who was in charge of uh, this issue under the Obama administration said before Trump was elected, of course, if he's elected, he'll have to give up his interest in the lease. He was fired uh, as soon as Trump was elected, and somebody from the Trump administration said, nope, it's perfectly okay, he can keep his interest in the lease. Well, you know, this hotel markets itself to the diplomatic community. Mm -hmm. uh, they doubled the room rates uh, right after Trump was sworn in from about 250 to 500 bucks a night. Um, and money is pouring in from foreign states, precisely what the Emoluments Clause prohibits. And the lease hold interest that he has is itself a violation of the Domestic Emoluments Clause because he's getting uh, a, a thing of value from the United States. So uh, beyond that, you know, it of course competes with, with businesses in the District of Columbia and in suburban Maryland. Uh, both Montgomery County and Prince George's County have uh, businesses, the Convention Center in Montgomery County, the uh, National Harbor in Prince George's County, that compete with all of the hotels in the District of Columbia for conferences and for uh, rooms. And uh, so uh, we have, as a nation and as a state, great interest in uh, Mr. Trump's emoluments.